China officially launched the world's largest carbon emissions trading market in the middle of July, after running pilot projects for over a decade. The country is trying to use the trading scheme to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as part of its effort to peak its emissions by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. So, how does China's emissions trading scheme work? Simply to say, carbon market is a venue where greenhouse gas emitters can buy and sell greenhouse gases emission permits. Those permits or allowances are allocated based on output and other related factors. They allow companies to emit certain amounts of greenhouse gases in a certain time frame. So carbon trading is effectively a form of permit trading. For example, Factory A ramps up production and its emission increase, so it needs more pollution permits. Meanwhile, Factory B has sharply reduced its pollution levels, so it will not use all its emission quota. In this case, Factory A can buy the permits from Factory B. Overall, carbon market is a concept that is actually same everywhere. However, if you look at the global carbon markets in different countries, the design are、uh, slightly different everywhere to adapt to the local condition and need. In the current stage, China's carbon market only covers the power sector, but it has already replaced the European Union's as the largest in the world. Over 2,000 power plants have participated in the platform, and they generate nearly 40% of the country's carbon dioxide each year. The government is addressing the main source of、uh, emission sources, and also for power sector, the technology are comparatively simple compared with other industry sectors.、Uh, according to the National Carbon Market Plan, there will be eight industries covered by the carbon market. In the future, will be iron, steel, cement,、uh, all the high energy intensive、uh, industries. To be covered in China's carbon market, the majority of the allowances are given to emitters for free. However, in most of the other carbon markets, they are paid for. The most effective carbon market need to give a reasonably high price to the carbon emission. So, giving away allowances for free is not the right way to do in long term. To my understanding, the carbon market is only one of the many、uh, policy tools that we use to achieve our net zero goals. So, carbon market is、uh, going to be very, very important. But at the same time,、uh, we still need to pay a lot of attention to the existing policy and keep enhancing these policies.